Let's take a look at schedules of reinforcement. An important reinforcement consideration in controlling behavior is when to reinforce performance. Timely feedback is important. The frequency and magnitude of the reinforcement may be as important as the reinforcement itself. Two major classifications are continuous and intermittent. Continuous reinforcement. With a continuous method, each desired and undesired behavior is reinforced. Examples of this method would include a machine with an automatic counter that lets the employee know exactly how many units have been produced or a supervisor who punishes employees for breaking rules every time. With intermittent reinforcement, the reward is given based on the passage of time or output. When the reward is based on the passage of time, it's called an interval schedule. When it's based on output, it's called a ratio schedule. When electing to use intermittent reinforcement, there are four alternatives. Fixed interval schedule is given a salary paycheck every week, breaks, and meals at the same time each day. Variable interval schedule is giving praise only now and then, and a surprise inspection or a pop quiz. Fixed ratio schedule is giving a piece rate or a bonus after producing a standard rate. Variable ratio schedule is giving praise for excellent work, a lottery for employees who have not been absent for a set period of time. Generally, positive reinforcement is the best motivator. Continuous reinforcement is better at sustaining desired behavior, however, and is not always possible or practical. The following are some general guidelines. Set clear expectations and objectives. Select appropriate rewards and reinforcement. Do not reward mediocre or poor performance. Look for positive and give praise every day, rather than focusing on negative and criticizing, and make people feel good about themselves. Do things for people instead of to them, and you'll see human relations and productivity increases.